Bless the Lord, everyone. So welcome to another Sunday service at the Holy Church of God. And we are going to begin. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, Jesus.
Hallelujah. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all. Exceedingly abundantly above all. Because
find strength today. And as you call and trust, you will give God your best praise. I want to greet those who are joining us online. We are grateful that you are worshiping with us today. And the same deliverer that is with us in the sanctuary is available to you wherever you are. Lift your faith today and give him glory because God is able. Praise God. So all our friends and family on Facebook, greetings today. For those of us in the sanctuary, I want to especially acknowledge our leaders who are with us today. Reverend French, greet you in the mighty name of Jesus and all our ministers especially Minister Williams, who will be bringing the word today. Can you give a big shout of praise? Hallelujah. We greet Elder Well this morning, our moderator, Sister Taché, and her support, Sister Rochelle. And I want to also greet our musicians who are with us this morning. All of God's people who are in, in the house this morning, just give God another praise. Bless the Lord. And so glad to see all of you those who are visiting with us, we are never, never, um, we are we're always happy to have you with us. And so the more you come, is the more we are grateful. But we are even more anticipating that if you do not know the Lord for yourself, that today you become a part of this family because he's available to you today. Hallelujah. Praise God. So welcome to one, welcome to all, and I trust that as you come, you give God your best praise, because that's what he desires of us today. By way of prayer requests, we want to announce that Evangelist Bloomfield is asking for prayer, as she's not in good health, and we know God is a healer. He has healed time and time again, and so we want to lift Evangelist Bloomfield before the Lord today, and believe God for her healing. Praise God. Also, Sister Powell is asking for prayer as she's having issues, um, stomach issues. But we know that God understands our frame and he knows everything about us. And so we take that with confidence that God is able to heal and to deliver. And so we bring Sister Powell to the Lord today. So greetings to everyone today. You do give God your best praise and he will indeed continue to bless you, our moderator. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. At this time, we'll take up the day's offering. We'll invite the ushers to come. Please stand as we will, as we ask Sister Wigan to ask God's blessing on the offering.
I just want to add up to the fact that God continues to do great things among us. Those who know that God is a good God, give him a big round of applause this morning. Hallelujah! And so today, after the service, we're going to be dedicating a vehicle to the Lord. And we can't have everybody around the car as usual because of social distancing. So even now, we want you to point your hands to Brother French and just say, Lord, cover him under your blood. Hallelujah! Lord, cover him under your blood. And we just, you know, say congratulations and we continue to look to God because he's a God who favors us. Amen? Yes, and so we can call upon his name. And when it seems like things are rough and you cannot make it, just keep your eyes above the way. Because once your eyes are above the way, you're able to see. Lead you on to victory. He's able to make the way for you. He's able to supply your needs according to his riches and glory. And he's able to pour out his blessings as you keep your eyes above the waves. God bless you today as we hand back to our moderator. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Lord, it's feasting time, brethren. Hallelujah. 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 So the atmosphere of worship is already set. Hallelujah. And it's now time to receive the word. We welcome Minister Williams. Please stand, brother, as we welcome Minister Williams to the podium in care of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah.
scripture really, but not really diving all of it, but let me read the scripture. It's Psalms 98. Psalm 98. And we'll read verses, say one to four. Read all of it. Let us read all of it. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm had gotten him to victory. Say victory! Praise the Lord. The Lord had made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the even. He had remembered his mercy and in his truth toward the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a song. With trumpets and sound of carnage, make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Let us see you roar. Let the fullness be of the world, and they let the floods clap their hands, and let the hills be joyful together before the Lord. For he cometh to judge the earth with righteousness, shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Praise the Lord. The topic I have today is about you, you are coming out victoriously. Shall have No, 
Jesus to stay down in the enemy. And he said that these are things that could challenge your opportunities and also increase your threats in your life. These are outside things that you don't have any control over the economy. Yes, the pandemic COVID-19 come upon us. Those are external factors. Praise the Lord. Political influences. Influences. Those are things that are external factors. And those are not the social environment as well. Those are things that are external factors. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus alone. Jesus said, neither had this man sinned. 
Touch him! 
again. Yeah. You understand me? And sometimes you have a condition. You're, 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 you're just kidding. Say, yeah, Lord! You're all alone! Say, you're going to isolation. Depression and fear. And God show. What a good thing about it. God said to Elijah. That's why the first of the scripture, though. He said to him, Rise and eat. Sometimes, and all the time, fasting and quiet eating there. Arise and eat because the journey will be long. Come, it may not go over today, it may not go over tomorrow, but rise and eat because the journey is long. But keep your eyes upon Jesus. Keep your eyes.
But thank God for the midnight. Thank God for the midnight. Then you can get up and pray and call upon God. So, brethren, God is bigger than the problems. Bigger than the situation. And as we sing this song, let us power fall. When your name is called, and prove that thou was wrong, that you are mighty and strong. So fight this battle for me. Thank you. 
I remember you have done me and over. Your situation. Don't forget that. Yeah. I love how back to the beginning, you know. When God created the animals, then he said, I don't see the animals in here. You need them. God never said, come down. No. no. God said, you need them. Lift your mighty God. We are God. 
Keep your glass. 
morning. God is moving this morning. Lift your faith to Him today. Declare it. Speak to your mind. Encourage yourself that it's not going to be like this forever. I am coming out with Jesus. I am coming out victoriously. So all of you feel pain, Brother Riley, because in your mind you know you have already come out and you believe with confidence that you have come out. It doesn't matter what pain you are rock, you already know that you are already celebrating because the Lord has delivered you. Father, in your name we lift you up. In your name we commend these people who stand at this altar. Lord, when you're going through rough times, and though they will walk with a smile, and though they will walk as though nothing has happened, you understand their pain, you understand their condition, and because you are in control, and because you administrate over the affairs of man, we take you at your word that you will never leave us, and you never forsake us, and we take confidence today that you are able to do what you said you will do. And so as your people stand at this altar, going through their fire, going through their floods, going through their mind of battles, oh, and it seems like it will never end. As one season ends, there is another season of disappointment, of, of things that are not all that we want them to be. But I'm glad that you're able today. So I commit them in your hands. I pray a breaking in their spirit. I pray that you break in their spirit. Break forth in their spirit, Lord. Pour out your anointing that will give them the deliverance. That will change their atmosphere. That will change them from the condition and cause them to come out in the strong name of Jesus. You see those that are going financial crisis, those that are going through their illnesses and the condition that the enemy has placed upon their lives. But I'm glad that you wish above all things that your people will prosper and be in good health. Oh, and so we declare health in this atmosphere, in this atmosphere, in this, in this situation. I declare health, health and healing in the mind in the body, in the soul, in our spirits today, cause us to come out. Come out victoriously. Help us to weather the storm. Help us not to give up on you, mighty God, but to keep our eyes on the prize, knowing that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we could ever ask or imagine. And because you are such a God, today. Break every fetal. What the enemy thought for bad, mighty God, turn it into good. Cause that they will be able to give you glory. Yes, that your works be manifest, be made manifest in their situation. So no others will speak. No others will talk their negativity. Lord, we want to remain positive. We want to be in a celebratory mode because we are coming out. We are coming victoriously. So we draw on the strength of Jesus. We draw on the, the strength of the Holy Spirit this morning because we cannot even walk without you holding our hands. The mountain, oh God, when we look upon them, they seem so high and the valleys around us, they are so wide. But I'm glad that we can get down on our knees. We can call you at any time. Yes, God, and you will respond. We cannot walk without you. Hold each of these people hand right today. Even those that are looking on from Facebook. Lord, I pray you hold their hands. They are, they too are going through their circumstances. But I pray that your spirit will do a work even now. And show that you are the mighty God. No power can contain you. You are all sufficient. You are holy. You are mighty in battle. And so God, we declare that you are our God. Yes, and even in our fire furnace, 
you will be with us and we will not be destroyed. No flame will burn us. Yeah, we won't even smell like smoke because we are coming out victoriously. Heal today, mighty God. Those that are in need of salvation, let there be a conviction of, oh God, even now by your Holy Spirit. Cause them to yield to your call. To give it all to you today. So that they can come out victoriously. I see them under your blood today, mighty God. I see them, every brother, every sister, every leader of this ministry. I see them, everyone who visits today. Oh God, we see them ourselves under the precious blood of Jesus. And we go forward with confidence. With an assurance that the victory shall be ours. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. We believe it and we receive it in the powerful name of Jesus. Even now, mighty God, we pray for Sister Powell. Oh, God, as she goes through her stomach condition, mighty God, I pray that you will take her the wound in her hand. Yes, of Jesus Christ, place it on her stomach even now and bring forth her deliverance and healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. We subdue evangelist Bluefield today under the blood of Jesus. We declare that every condition in our body will be made whole right now. We pray that every infirmity will go. We pray that you touch your mind, touch your body, touch your soul today. Mighty God, undo every burden that the enemy has placed on her life and cause her to come out victoriously in Jesus' name. See your people are freshly praying. Even for our speaker today, Minister Williams. We wrap her up in your love one more time, Lord. We wrap her up in your blood, mighty God. And I pray, God, that whatever she too is going through, that mighty God, you will cause her to come out victoriously. And God, I'm ambitious today to ask that it be made whole speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are calling. Oh, 
to everyone today, those who have joined the service and you are blessed. Continue to keep true, continue to trust in the Lord because He's God in the morning, He's God in the evening. And He's taking out, He's taking you out victoriously. Continue.